Oh boy, man, this year has been something else with gaming, and you think <laughs> you think Concord is the worst now? No, not anymore. Someone else has just conquered Concord. No pun intended there. Uh, I hope you all of you are doing well. Here's some more gaming news. My name is Marcel MD14. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to check me out live, sometimes we do gaming news live, or we'll be playing a game live. I'll check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash MD14. Or hit me up on social media, MD14, if you want to discuss more. But I'd love to see some comments down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're on the race to 2K. We're so close to getting 2,000. I'd love to hit 2,000 by the end, end of the year. Uh, but, you know what? Let's go into some gaming news, shall we? Uh, this broke out yesterday. Uh, I told Don, I told Don's PS5 debut, uh, debuts 28% weaker than Sony's 2024 disaster, Concord. Until Don's PS5 player count is a, is a staggering low. And is on one of the worst debuts uh, we have seen in quite some time. Yes, even worse than Concord. This is from uh, True Trophies, uh, written by Sean Shaw Lawson. Hey, who who would have thought? Who would have thought Concord would would have been would, would no longer win the worst launch game of of this year? And but what's shocking is this is back to back Sony games. That's crazy. So while while I can't wait to start earning some more trophies, uh, uh, Sean mentions uh, for Until Dawn, it seems many players out there have no interest in, in the PS5 remaster of the of the classic t uh, PS4 horror game. You know, I feel like this game was ma mainly meant for PC players. In fact, I'm gonna actually check as well while we discuss this um, what the P the Steam player count is actually, because uh, even with that, the number was higher on on uh then uh the, the number was higher on pc for concord uh so it might be the same case here but uh and in fact i'm actually even gonna compare it with, i think i think i can still compare it with concord but you know when you look at this game for ps4 and ps5 it looked i i mean there wasn't that much difference you know yes some people might have smoother skin and the lighting might be a little different and everything but it wasn't that much you know i don't, I don't think it was even that much difference here in fact we can even see it right here actually rated m for mature if you're not rated m sorry you should you need to leave rated m for mature <laughs> if you're not mature leave um but like you need to listen to me you need to go down to the mines this looks like the ps4 version where did he make it did he tell you that he saved my life how did you end up in the mine and i watched him die you know yes this is an older game a lot of people played this game a lot of people played this game uh i guess this is not the comparison yeah there's no comparison here but like it looks like it looks like the like you know the playstation 4 game so <clears throat> until dawn's ps5 debut is worse than concord and the last of us part two until dawn's debut is, is small is 28.6 smaller than concord's which is wild the concord because concord's own wasn't that big either so the fact that you're double digits 28 point almost 30 percent smaller than concords that's wild that's absolutely insane uh the playstation studio horror horror game saw 98.5 that is a crazy 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 number uh fewer players than the last of us part two remastered the, the small pool of ps5 players could be down to uh to the lack of marketing but uh using the gameplay uh, data sample of over 3.1 active psn accounts um yeah, this is an extremely extremely small and i am pretty sure this is something that they didn't uh that they, they didn't they, didn't, they weren't expecting it maybe they were hoping like oh spooky season's out you know everyone who has a ps5 you know can play this game like why would you rebuy this game i feel like like i what, what was what was the like what was the deal with this game like could you get it for uh could you get it for uh, like a cheaper price if you own the ps4 version because that would have been nice nope coming to ps i saw it was a completely different game it looks like that's wild so it wasn't even like an upgrade let me know in the comments below if it was like an upgrade or not because um i i don't own a playstation i was looking forward for this game on pc if you i've you know i've seen many friends play this game i've never personally played this game um so i could see that the p the pc version might be a little bit higher which i'm going to show to you uh show to all of you uh, momentarily but yeah for the to, to be performing less than to be, to be performing less than concord is pretty wild uh but it kind of makes sense because this game's available on ps4 and you could just play the ps you could just play the game on your ps5 right so 
why would you be coming out to to get just slight slightly slightly better upgrades you know that doesn't make sense and like you already have a huge install base on playstation i'm sure even like the game has come out like playstation plus as well why are you getting the ps5 version and unless like are you getting it cheaper that's that's a while that's insane um <clears throat> the top uh, the top 10 single player ga uh, ps5 games of 2024 last of us remaster elder ring uh, final fantasy rebirth uh wukong Dragadama, astro bots at six that's actually a little shock i thought astro bot would be a little bit higher i thought Astrobot would be at least six. i guess i thought I, maybe i <clears throat> maybe <clears throat> maybe i thought astro bot would be five Sorry, i had to clear my voice there Terror Blade. This needs to come out on PC. I'm just, I'm just telling you know, David Diver, Razor Ronin, and Persona, Persona 3 Reloaded. Interesting. Uh, the only thing that makes sense in uh, is is uh, in um, I guess Sean's head. That's why I told uh, I told Don is underperforming is the lack of promotion. Outside of the couple of trailers, I've barely seen Sony promote the, uh, this remaster. Um, I've seen a lot to be honest. Like and like there was even like PR presses and. And then the PlayStation uh, blog had it as well, especially for like spooky season as well. Um, but and I know they also did things with this game. They really added like a, a a secret ending that that could be hinting off. And and there is a movie coming out as well, right? So um, yeah, I don't know. Like it's it's shocking that it's uh, this performance of it. But I I don't know if there was an upgrade path for this game as well. Um, but the, if you, you if you own it on PS4, could maybe then you'll see more people on it like you know you charge them 10 bucks like the whole um horizon deal they're like hey if you own the game just give us 10 bucks and you, you get the ps5 version of it maybe um so but i didn't really hear anything about that okay here's the comparison trailer rated m for mature things i need to yeah like and I didn't know this is the scene we're picking here. The girl in the hot tub. But whatever. Whatever. All right. R rated M for mature. All right. Yeah. Uh, yes, there is a visual difference. You can see a little bit. Hey, the headphones are red. <laughs> the headphones are red, at least. Right? Uh, yeah, you can see it. But it's nothing too crazy to rebuy the game again. You know? Yeah, you can see he has a little, you know... Like, once again, things are a little bit lighter. There's more lighting effects. Um, it has completely changed the scene. <laughs> this is a whole, this, this is not even a good comparison. This is like a whole different, like, they added sunlight and everything. This is a whole different scene here. What the hell? Any more comparisons? Here we go. Yeah, so like, you know, less like light, like uh, luminance right there. Um, the light's hitting her face a little bit better. Instead of like, just instead of like a completely like bright orange image here. Um, you can see. Uh, this it's just lighting's better when the face models are better but the face models were already good in this game you know what i mean like the face models were already good in this game okay i guess <laughs> you know like this will like i meant like once again this will benefit more the this will benefit more the the pc players than for than playstation which can, is, i can see why this game's performing bad and then once again i don't know if there was a upgraded and he doesn't mention it here um let me see if i can find it uh ps4 until dawn ps5 upgrade find out someone did ask that uh <clears throat> someone actually asked it on reddit if, if i were if i were to buy ps4 version of until dawn can i upgrade and then no no the original game released on ps4 completely different compared to the remake releasing this year uh the whole remake yeah so yeah it's a whole different engine by a different studio Therefore, yeah, yeah. So therefore, it is a completely no upgrade whatsoever. You have to completely buy the game again. And why would you when the PS4 version looks great? So this makes complete sense. Why? Why? Um. Why you? Why? Why this is performing like worse than than Concord? And once again, let's take a look here. Actually, uh, let me just do this. And then, sorry, one second. And then, <clears throat> there we go. Um, uh, the game peaked at twenty six oh seven. Now, I'm kind of curious now. Uh, for the from the last four days, and then this is what yeah when the game came out. It's a week ago, right? Yeah, twenty six all time peak twenty six oh seven. So, um, uh, is that worse than Concord twenty six oh seven? Let's find out. Concord. Uh, wait, would I even? Oh, okay, I will be able to check it. Yeah, Concord's all time peak six. Was it really six six ninety seven? I don't think so. Wasn't there? Is there a way to see the beta? Yeah, twenty three oh six. So just 
Damn, it is less. <laughs> Concord's beta at 2388 all time high, while this one is. Wait, wait, how much? Wait, how much is it? Sorry, no, it's not less. Never bad, bad. So it's a little bit higher. Just a little. That's still bad. God damn, that's actually still bad. You're only like a couple hundred over Concord. 2603 compared to 2388 or where were the number i said 2388 and 2607 okay so this is just slightly better than concord and when it was and that, and that was the beta that was the beta keep in mind um i don't think i i, I would have, have assumed this game will perform better uh than the concord released uh the, the released version of concord uh because of uh spooky season like like, like i mentioned a lot of people wanted to play the game as well but like the fact that it's an all-time high, and this is on PC, is this on Epic? Uh, the all-time high is 2607. That's not good. Just let, just let you know. That's not good. How much is this game? I am of age. This is an $80 game, meaning 60, $69.99 as well. So $70 game. That's a lot. You're asking for a lot. For uh, and like, yes, I know you upgraded it all, and it is available on on uh, on on Epic. But to be honest, who's on Epic anyway? um no offense epic if you're not playing fortnite or alan way why are you on epic oh and sorry and collecting games <laughs> why are you on epic but yeah this game uh once like a lot of people have played it and you're why am i paying 80 dollars for it you know so i'm not surprised by these sales i'm not surprised it's it's crazy uh did you pick this game up let me know are you surprised by these results as well let me know as well in the comments below and if you're liking these news stories please let me know okay let me know all right uh but yeah i love your faces everyone and as always have yourself a damn good one all right